It's not surprising that Squid Game proved to be one of Netflix's biggest hits. The highs and intolerable loss of the game have proven to be strangely related to the spectators. Welcome back to Flicks and Shows, and today let's take a look at the top 10 shows and movies you can watch if you can't let go of the Korean drama. And also, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Darwin's game shows us a high school student, Kanami Sudo, who accepts an online invitation from a friend to play an app game called Darwin's Game, but he is unaware that players are fighting for their real lives using superhuman powers called seals. Now it's up to Kanami to beat the game and kill the game master. <laughs> Another series to try on Netflix is the Brazilian dystopian thriller series 3%. This is primarily an exotic highlight of the peculiar item from almost everyone on the list. The drama is developed in an exciting way and is satisfying both as a viewer and as part of modern pop culture. The 20-year-old world competes every year to transcend their terrifying reality, from extreme poverty to the extravagant life of a terrifying three-person conspiracy. As humans transform into savage monsters, a troubled teenager and his neighbors fight to survive and retain their humanity. A weirdly addicting Korean drama that feels like a manga come to life because it's based on a webtoon of the same name. Due to its over-the-top acting, body horror and crazed monsters, the monsters are the centerpiece of the show and they make or break the scene once they appear. You'll find it for yourself. It's not my time. I don't turn 18 for another month. No! 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 Nuclear wars destroyed the earth and made the land impossible to live on. To survive the artificial apocalypse, people learn to dive into space and thrive by living on a space station called Ark. Once the Ark reached its maximum capacity, there was no other way but to return to their roots. 97 years later, a spaceship carrying a hundred juvenile delinquents is sent back to Earth to study its sustainability. A string of events occur when a teenager without adult guidance begins to question the leadership. Surprisingly, some clans survived the apocalypse and lived on Earth for several generations. On a dark road, taxi driver Kyung Shaw encounters a frightened motorist stranded in a broken down vehicle. He stops, but not to help her. When the woman's head is discovered in a local river, her devastated fiance, Kim So Hyun, a trained secret agent, becomes obsessed with tracking down her killer. Once he finds Kyung Shol, things get complicated. After brutally defeating the murderer, Kim sets him free and an insane cat and mouse game begins. Obsessed gamer Arisu suddenly finds himself in a strange empty version of Tokyo in which he and his friends must compete in dangerous games to survive. Despite a somewhat nihilistic point of view, made worse by the many gruesome deaths, Alice's nod in Borderland is truly a celebration of life. Probably all even we are at the height of a traumatic event, on the verge of death or contemplating a deep sense of loss can we sever what we have. Whenever someone dies, they are sent to one of the many mysterious bars run by bartenders serving as referees inside a tower in the afterlife. There, they are to participate in death games with their souls in play, the results of which reveal what secrets led them to their predicament and what their fate will be afterwards, with the arbitrators judging whether their souls will be sent for reincarnation or banished in the void. The series follows Desim, the lone bartender at the bar where the dead are sent at the same time, known as the Queen Desim Bar, and his assistant. Oh, 
the first season of the kingdom set in the Hosein dynasty, three years after a battle, is the story of Prince Li Shang and his men who encountered an unnatural plague that revived the dead while investigating political plots, followed by rumors of the death of the king of Korea. In the chaos and subsequent death, Shan encounters an ally trying to confront the city-state before San Shu spreads further into the strait, but only discovers that the plague has already begun. Basically, another version of Squid Game, Kaiji is a useless Ryuta who spends his days drinking beer and stealing hubcaps, that is, until he's fooled by a former colleague. Unable to suddenly repay his friend's huge debt alone, Kaiji is offered a dubious deal to participate in illegal underground gambling on a cruise ship. It turns out that this is just the beginning of his new life, thrown head-on into a life-threatening roller coaster of mind games, cheating and deception. Have faith in the system. Because it really does work. <laughs> In a terribly dystopian future, some individuals are working on the operational effects of state-of-the-art technology in their personal lives and behaviors. Black Mirror invites us not only for entertainment purposes, but also to think about how technology can harm society and change our behavior. Each episode shows how existing technology will evolve in the near future, for the better or especially for the worse. Do let us know in the comments your take on the list. Like the video and share the fun. It's free and will only take a moment. Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned. Until next time.